Okay, I just got the Automate plugin installed in um, uh, Cacti, and I want to take you through how I did it. It took a few, th it took a little doing, so I'll just walk you through some of the process that I went through. Um, basically, let's see here. Installing the plugin architecture here. Hold on. After you copy the files over and you change your configuration file which we went over then you import the SQL file pa.sql into your cacti database right then what you need to do is you actually have everything installed but you're not quite done yet and what I had to do was and this is important I needed to go down to user management all right and I had to select my user. Here's my user, right? Admin. So you select your user admin, right? That's who I'm logged in as, admin. And then you scroll down, right? All the way down here, and you need to turn on plugin management. When you see it, it'll be off. And you will need to turn it on plugin management. So I turn that on and hit save. And now, after I saved that, I've got this setting here called Configuration Settings Plugin Management. And when you go to Plugin Management, your plugins are supposed to show up here, right? Right in here. Well, they're not going to show up in here until you download plugins, right? And so what you want to do is, I'm going to just use my System Tool file browser here to show you. What you want to do is, you want to all right, here's var, here's dub dub dub, here's cacti, right? And then in your cacti folder, you have a plugins folder. And in the plugins folder, you'll download each plugin to its own folder within the plugins folder. So you see here I've downloaded automate, right? Well, back to the instructions on how to install plugins, right? It tells you here how to do it, right? Essentially, when you install plugins, there's two types there's uh, legacy plugins in which you'll have to change something in the configuration file right here in the config.php file you'll actually have to change uh, manually edit the configuration.php file for cacti right or you can install newer plugins that are not legacy plugins and you can install those right so and you, what you do is once you you'll download the plugin right you'll download the plugin you'll extract the plugin and then you'll copy that folder to the plugins file and then you can activate it using the configuration tool now if it's a legacy plugin you'll have to do all that manually by editing that configuration file but if it's not a um, if it's not a uh, legacy plugin you can do it all just right from um, the tool right here right so you can see here that this is an example of the plugins management interface and you can see this person's got the settings plugin the automate plugin the nectar plugin the aggregate the discovery plugin so he's got all these plugins and some are installed and some are active and some are not right so what you want to do is you want to go and you want to get some of those plugins so I'll take you there right now so what I did was is plugins right I clicked on plugins on one of the supported plugins and then there's so there's aggregate, right? There's automate, right? So I'm on the docs.cacti.net forward slash plugins folder, and you can download these plugins, right? So discovery, you know, these are all the plugins you can download. Nectar, right? So let's look at the aggregate one. So if I go to aggregate, right, and I want to download it, Right, so here's the different versions. I'm going to go all the way down to the newest version and download that. Right, save it to my downloads folder. Okay, and now from the command line, I'll go take a look at it. Right, so cd tilde downloads, right, ls, and I'm looking for aggregate. There it is, aggregate version 7.5 so I'll just do a tar xf aggregate tab alright and now I've done that 
I can do another ls command and let's see where is it now there's a folder called aggregate right so that was easy so now I'm just going to do a since it the folder that it extracted to was also called aggregate I'll just copy the whole folder over my previous one that I did the um, the folder it came out to was called trunk and so I changed the folder name and did all that stuff but with this one I'm just gonna copy this folder aggregate over so I'll do a sudo copy aggregate and I'll do a CP dash R and I'll copy aggregate to var dub 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 cacti plugins right okay and I'll just copy it over alright do that okay that should have worked so now let's take a quick look to see if it worked I'll CD change directory over there and do a ls command and you see I have a folder now called aggregate here well now if I go to my cacti uh, and refresh I'm in plugin management here right which is down here plugin management under configuration under cacti I can refresh this window and there's aggregate right it's, it shows up automatically it's not installed you just click right here right and boom now enable plugin right I can enable it and disable plugin enable it's installed and it's enabled and it's running and installed and it looks like it's working right so now I've got a couple of, of plugins um, installed right and active click here now they're both active so now they're not only installed but they're also active.